Some visitors aren't content to simply sit and watch life in the Amazon pass them by. Now for some tourists, Americans especially, the natural excitement of the Amazon for some reason isn't enough. For those folks, there is man-made adventure at Amazon Survival School. There we go. They'll teach you some real lessons, all right. It's harder than it looks. Learn to cross a stream on a rope bridge. People pay extra to do this? Yeah? Ugh. Why? Ugh. No matter how they placed in the race, though, contestants say just the experience of being here was a real rush. The only complaint, they say, is that it all goes by so fast. In West Texas, soon to be in Northern Mexico, Jason Wheeler, Ken's Five, Eyewitness News. And not only is this new theater supposed to be easy on the ears, it's pretty nice for the nose as well. No bleeds, even up here in the top seats, which are still pretty close to the stage. This one of the worst examples that you see right here behind me. That is a 20 some odd story building and I challenge you to find one intact window in that building. Residents here worry that the sheer beauty of their coastal community was being completely covered up. But one resident in particular was not about to let that happen. I, I take it personally, absolutely, I do. Because of the efforts of one woman, they began to literally wipe out graffiti here. If you are gonna be out and about, you know, take into consideration that not only are you having some dangling power lines to deal with, for instance, there's one right here at this intersection that you would never see if you didn't know it. A Saharan sandstorm, a pretty big one, being blown off the coast of Africa by some pretty gusty winds going across the Atlantic Ocean all the way over here to Florida. And sometimes when we uh, question people who are accused of doing something wrong, they actually stop and answer us. Sometimes they give us a no comment, sometimes they give us one of these, but rarely do they run away. Today, that's exactly what the fire chief here in Liberty Hill did. The question now, will he and his wife be able to outrun the criminal charges against them? At the height of the rainy season, it will flood here all the way up to this watermark in the tree, which is about 25 feet above the ground. In fact, the locals here have built a staircase into this tree so that they can pull their canoes up alongside it during the rainy season, climb up these steps, and fish in the forest. There are vicious flesh-eating piranha everywhere in this water, but that's about to change. With the perfect bait. Cow heart, right? Cow heart? Yeah. And the blood that came with it. This is what attracts them, is the blood. Yeah. We'll work the piranha into a frenzy. Pretty well. Okay, yes. we'll start slow. Okay, that's catfish, right? Catfish? Yeah. That's not exotic. But within moments, there we go. the piranha there he is. are biting. Don't swing that thing over here, man. Many cases in Texas can't go forward until the Department of Public Safety puts its fingerprint on the evidence. You see, a lot of crime scene samples from across the state have to be tested here at the central lab in Austin. And these days, the lab itself is being tested by an enormous case backlog. Looking for someone. God, holy changes, Batman. You look incredible. Is that you? Of course it's me. It's Jason, don't you recognize me? I didn't even need all those extra muscles that they gave me for the cost. Oh, actually, I did use all of them. But you know, I feel so powerful. You know, in situations like this, they like to be overly cautious and uh, err on the side of caution, if you will. So they've gone ahead and locked that school down just to make sure that everybody inside there is okay. I'm gonna lift up this uh, crime scene tape so this officer can make it through. He did. K-9 unit arriving on the scene here. Now, maybe it's life imitating art or the other way around, but for some people, island survival is more than just a game. It's a way of life. The grand prize, getting away from it all for good. <laughs> Aiming to attract more than just a few good men, though, the Marines these days are now targeting high school teachers and principals. But what do the people say? 
Well, despite the fact that they've been sitting inside that building all day, ordinary citizens have hardly been given the time of day. And welcome back, everybody. We are now going to take you out to sea aboard the USS Mitcher. This guided missile destroyer is capable of making some major waves. While these crunchy corn stalks are certainly a problem right now, pretty soon things could actually get worse. We're told that the fire danger will likely go up when these plants start to come down. As of last month, anyway, the county's unpaid parking tickets totaled more than $10,000. County bosses are now going to have to try to find a way to clean up this expensive mess and drive home the point to county workers that they can't just ignore parking tickets. Almost off the meter, 95% of those surveyed so far agree it is time to increase the fines for some parking tickets. The city cites that option as a way to make an extra $271,000. Also, some public pools may have trouble staying afloat because there's deep support for closing them. A full 88% say, go for it. Shutting down select swimming holes would save $50,000. But how people feel about cutting library hours at branches around the city, well, that one so far is a harder read. Just a little more than half of the respondents have agreed with the idea of shortened schedules. The authors of the budget options say reducing library hours would create $836,000. But there are some things that just shouldn't be played with. Of those who've been surveyed, only a meager 21% agree with a plan that would eliminate some summer playground programs. This whole issue boils down to this right here. I can assure you I didn't put this here. It's not mine. Somebody obviously left it here earlier today. Now a New Braunfels city councilman is claiming that too many tubers riding the rivers here are simply drinking too much and that the end result is that they're not the only ones getting trashed. This is my first time actually watching this in person. You're expecting after so many years for it to play out just like it does on TV where you see it and hear it all go at the same time. We're actually about three and a half miles away from the launch pad here. And so what actually happens when this thing takes off is that it goes up, it, you, you see the tremendous burn going on, but the thing is as quiet as a church mouse. You can't hear a thing until a couple of seconds later when all those sound waves get over here and start shaking the building that we're standing on and you really start hearing the engines firing and it's just amazing to watch that go up if it were just for that one cloud that could have gotten out of the way so we could have watched it further they mix it up just right so that you don't get that bad crick in your neck from looking up so much at all the airplanes they actually put some stuff at eye level down here for you to look at as well one of those being the Marines who stormed ashore yesterday this every year is one of the real popular things the Bayou City certainly living up to its name today. In some places, these waterways, which really act as enormous drainage ditches, have been flirting with their banks, coming right up to the edge. But so far, they have been able to handle the runoff. And as Edouard makes his way out of Houston now, the deluge he dumped here is doing the same. Judy, there are now dozens of homes and businesses here in Bastrop County that look like this, just pure destruction. As the water in this creek rises, it comes into contact with these sensors on the side of the pole. When it gets high enough to where it looks like it's about to go over the road, flashing lights up the road are automatically triggered. Folks, if ever there were a day uh, where you might want to impress the boss and stick around work a little longer, today is that day. It's, it's, it's dangerous to be out, first of all, and secondly, you're very very likely to run into a traffic jam on the way home anyway. You're going to get it uh, if you're headed out right now. This uh, vehicle here was brought in uh, just a few minutes ago by our news director's husband, uh, who happened to be one of many uh, who got caught in this out on the road. You can see the different dings and dents all in the front of it here in the hood. But the flag lady isn't waving the white flag just yet. In fact, she says the banner burner responsible for this vandalism has started a new fire within her and she vows she will return here to restore old glory to its full glory.